So we're going to be working here inside this onCreate method and I'm going to start by declaring a couple of arrays. So first of all we're going to declare an array of float. So I'm going to say float and then I'm going to use these square brackets. Then I'm just going to give you an example. Um, we can just have a set of numbers. Uh, probably you have to use some kind of functionality. Uh, mathematical functionality with a set of numbers so we're just gonna have it like this and then I'm just gonna show you how to declare a double array so first of all you just have to say double and then the square brackets and then another set of numbers and as you can see that's how it works you just have to go at the end of the line and use this uh, semicolon and after that I'm just gonna initialize And then we're going to use uh, just, um, we're just going to add values one by one. And I'm going to show you for both data types how it works. Um, so we're going to have float array. And uh, let's say we have uh, the marks for uh, a test. So just like uh, marks or just grades for students, grades um, in, let's say, midterm one for some uh, course and uh, we're gonna have new float array and let's say we have about 34 students now also good practice would be to declare right here um, final int that's a constant and then you're gonna say number of students and you have this constant that's 34 Usually it's just better because um, you don't have to update uh, this number just uh, every single time. You would know what it represents also, so um, that's why we do it this way. You're just gonna specify new float number of students and uh, it's much better, much simpler and uh, even understandable. So we're gonna use it in this way. Also, if you want to add the values, you can do it by just saying grades in midterm one of zero. So that's for the first student. Um, just assuming that you have some kind of indexing for all the students and you have them um, just like, uh, you know, which student is uh, with index zero, one and so on. And uh, what we're going to be doing is uh, we're just going to add uh, these values. We're just going to say, for example, 90. 0.5 and then keep in mind that you have to use this f to specify that is a floating point number now in this case it's probably okay to use uh, floating point numbers because you don't need that many decimal places and you would just save some space from memory if you use floats and just like that you have uh, this uh, grade also you can just add one more and we're gonna say um, let's say 23 we want to update uh, the score so we're gonna say 75 and uh, just like that we're gonna say F and that means it's a floating point number and so on so you can just do it like this that's how you just add values one by one now if you want to initialize and add the values all at once you can also do it if you have a double for example a double array and let's call it uh, prices in a store just prices in my store and we're gonna have a couple of prices so we're just gonna specify them right here let's say 10.90 then um, 12.5 0 0.75 point 0.15 As you can see, you can just give a couple of values. They also can be negative, as you already know. They also can be integers. Um, doesn't really matter. 23.999. And also you can have uh, something that has more than, uh, let's say if you have a price that is something like this. Or it depends on your application. If you have that many decimal places, you will use double. Um, now this is how you can do it and if you want to access it as you already know if you want to just change a, a value that you have in that list you can just say prices in my store and then of let's say the first one with the index zero and you want to just uh, 
increase it so let's say you just want to make sure that you add um, to this price you will add let's say um, 10 more dollars to it so that's how you can do it if you want to add something to it 